Welcome to All 22 Tuesday, a collaboration between First Down Playbook, the coaching coordinator podcast, the Scouting Academy, and FNF Coaches. We got another great set of plays for you here. Well, let's take a look at this kick return. Uh, typically, a kick return, a good kick return, warms my heart, but uh, this one is against the Cleveland Browns, and, and it's one that got the Colts at least momentarily back into the football game, and they just do a good job here with their double teams. Sure did, Keith. The, you know, they got a double on R4 and R3 to the play side, and you'll see it here on the video. Outstanding job. Really good job on the back side of, of losing ground, gaining leverage on 4-5. It looked like the Browns had a 4-5 a twist going on to both sides right here. And anytime you're going to get double teams at the point of attack, and you have the ability to get that backside blocker, in this case 20, to the play side, you're going to, you know, you've got a chance right here. And that's exactly what happens. And if you look, you're going to see 36 and 29. You don't get involved in the play at all. Two is the kicker. You anticipate that not being very much. And, in fact, two actually gets in 29's way right here. But the thing I, we want to look at here is, before we go to the video, is that at some point, this happened to the uh, Kansas City Chiefs against the Ravens about two weeks ago. And it happened last year. We showed it, the Eagles playing the Lions. At some point, the, the kickoff teams are going to have to start getting a rover to gain an extra guy to the kick side. And when that happens, you're going to start seeing reverses and things back out of it. But this is happening way too much in the NFL. So let's take a look right here. They're in what would traditionally be called a five up, but now with the rules, it's an eight up look by the Colts. But they're doing a great job right here. And the other thing, they have great spacing. When you get the spacing back here, you want to make sure that you don't have everybody wadded up together. You also don't want to have uh, so far apart that you end up having the blocks occur before the ball carrier gets there. So they're in really good shape. But let's look up here at the top. This guy's got to get involved. I mean, if, if this guy can't get involved, that's going to allow that off returner over here to get to the play side. And that provides an extra block. Now, you can look right here. We'll see it on the inside. Double teams, double teams. And now you've got hat on a hat. Kicker's not going to do much of anything. At least you count on the returner beating them. And then the, the kicker can actually sometimes get in the way of your pursuit. Charlie, if we could go back to those double teams, too. A couple things I want to point out. And I've, I've talked quite a bit, you know, with you and on the podcast about the beauty of this play in, in the changes really that have been made in scheme and the approach. I mean, we used to think of our double teams and I mean, shoot for a while, it was like two, two flying wedges when you go, you know, five guys followed by, by five guys, you know, all running back to a point and running forward. But now, you know, with the, the schematic changes made, you know, that, that require the, these guys to, uh, to, to really be more athletic, I think, you know, this, this, this play is even better from an athletic perspective. They're getting really good double teams here, but, you know, they're not selling out. They're not using their head. This is not, you know, what we've seen before in terms of, you know, what you envision the kickoff to be, which was just almost medieval with, with two armies running at each other. There's, there's a lot of uh, finesse in this play and in these double teams here, and these guys just do a great job, show their athletic ability, and really, this is why I think, you know, all the talk about removing the kickoff, you know, I, I'd hate to see that happen because there's so many things we can do to, to make this play safer. And uh, it's, it's such a dynamic play. And right here in the game, at this point at least, it was a game changer. Sure it was. I mean, you, you talk about the momentum and, and uh, you can just feel the air, you know, not like it's a full stadium or anything, but you could just feel everything change. But right here, what you're talking about, you're right. I mean, those are just, they're very well, uh, very well carried out as far as the double teams, but that's not anything about dangerous football right here. No, now, you got a, you got a post and a close, right? It's right. that simultaneous contact. One hits, the other closes it up and seals him. And just Here's a great job. That lane. We've talked about the, uh, the pin and post or post and pin, excuse me, right here. But, but once again, you know, I mean, that, that's a good looking picture if you're lining up for the Colts right here. But once again, we'll say it just because you can anticipate seeing this. 
If, if teams don't start getting their three or their two involved on the backside right here, uh, then you're going to start seeing loopers come over to the kick side. And, and, and they're going to have to because that dude right there, he's not playing for anybody right now. He's got to be able to make this play or that ain't going to, that ain't going to work. And then once again, your kicker, all he's going to do is get in the way of one of your pursuit guys. And you're looking at the result right there. So it'll be interesting to see the rest of the season how people start approaching those kickoff returns. Be sure to join us each week throughout the NFL season for All-22 Tuesday. All-22 Tuesday is brought to you by First Down Playbook, the number one football playbook tool for coaches at all levels of football. Edit any of our 35,000 plays or draw your own from scratch. All plays come with detailed coaching points and player assignments for every position. Keith Grabowski is the host of Coach and Coordinator Podcast. He interviews the most knowledgeable head coaches, coordinators, and position coaches from professional, college, and high school football. Keith and his guests discuss the philosophy, concepts, schemes, and strategies that they have learned throughout their careers. The Scouting Academy teaches you how to scout like a pro. Learn from NFL executives and coaches about the process of scouting from your home on your schedule. The Scouting Academy has 40 alumni with NFL opportunities and over 130 in college football. Friday Night Football Coaches is the platform for high school football coaches. FNF Coaches delivers content to the high school football coaching community through its website, print magazine, and other digital platforms. Links to all websites can be found in the description of this video. Thank you for joining us for this week's All 22 Tuesday, and we will see you next week.